what you're seeing now, if you'd have come here 30, 40 years ago, you wouldn't have seen the vacant lot. Everything was filled with manufacturing of some sort. Steel was being made at a rate nothing has ever seen, nothing before or nothing since has ever done what's done here. This thing ramped up because of World War II, as we know. The energy that was needed at that time, this state of West Virginia came to its calling. We have done the heavy lifting and we have mined the coal that made the steel, that built the guns and ships, that built the factories, that built the industrial might. We've done it all. This little state has given everything she's got. Groundbreaking we're going to do today, form energy. And I'm going to say this, this would not happen without the Inflation Reduction Act. It would not have happened without it. And that, I'm not making a political statement because when we wrote the energy portion, when we wrote that bill, we wrote it with my Republican friends helping me for the last five years. The Inflation Reduction Act, as of the end of last month, there were 160 battery companies that have announced they are coming to or are expanding in the United States who might have gone to our economic competitors who are here because of the incentives in the Inflation Reduction Act. So, Senator Manchin, own it. It's so great, so great. <laughs> I was very much in con concern that we, over the last 20 and 30 years, have allowed countries that do not have our values China, Russia, people that basically places that we rely on products that they make, that we need, what we call our building blocks, and we've allowed those to escape. We've allowed a lot of manufacturing to escape with it. It is time to bring it back to America. That's exactly what we're doing.